What's up guys, this is Bharat here, welcome to Tech Matrix and today we are going to take a look at how to install OnePlus One drivers the easy way. The prerequisites are you will need a OnePlus One, stock USB cable, Windows PC and all the downloaded files from the description. Check the description below. Right guys, so the first thing you will need to do is connect your phones with the stock cable and then connect it to your PC and download all the files from the description below install the bacon root toolkit the latest version allow it to download all the dependencies to start with it will download a lot of files the root files and so on so let's just give it some time after that just click on the full driver installation guide automatic press menu or click that button and then click on launch device manager look at ADB interface or whatever your phone is being showed as uninstall that sometimes it will be A001 and also sometimes it will be in the portable devices click on that uninstall that yes click ok sometimes it will ask for delete drivers click on the delete driver action as well next is you click on you launch USB view and look at all the things that is showing Qualcomm or Google uh, mainly the USB composite devices and uninstall all those right now it's only one for me but normally it will be four five so ensure that you uninstall all the drivers of your phone even if you have installed some other android devices uninstall all those android device drivers if you have a different device like a xiaomi or something else so after that go to your phone and unpack the device from the computer go back restart your pc so i'm just going to close this and come back after you restart the second step Disable USB debugging on your phone, go to settings, go to developer options and second scroll it will be Android debugging will be there, just disable. If you don't know how to get developer options, just click on about phone, scroll down, build number, click on the build number several times and your developer options will be available. So that's how you get the developer options. And then reconnect your phone to your PC. Now we are going back to the PC. Okay, so on the PC, we are going to just let the drivers install automatically. It will take some time now come back to the phone drag down the status bar and click on the connected at media device and click on charge only and then again reconnect media device after the installation of drivers happen wait for the devices and then click on the media device again so let's go to the the developer options and re-enable android debugging which we just had disabled some time back once you re-enable go to the second third step now install Google drivers click on OK click on next click finish second is configuring ADB here is the tricky part you will be having an exclamation mark ADB interface download the drivers from this description there are two different links you can download the stock package or from the google i downloaded it from the google doc folder you can just download that install that pretty easy just click on install and it will start installing and then go back update driver browse my computer for drive software 
let me pick from a list and then click on adb interface once you click on adb interface and click next it'll ask for some options might be there just click on android adb device interface and click yes nothing else but adb interface only and then close so it's now installed now on your phone at this point there should be some kind of a hap, you know status bar or a, a, a prompt that will ask you to do something so if it's not come just hold on uh, click on so should be there always allow click on the always allow and then click ok so on your PC now click on configure fast boot and it will reboot your device into bootloader more so this means I think your drivers are successfully installed now mostly there shouldn't be any issues so if you have any trouble we can definitely test this I don't think so this third step is required to install the fastboot drivers mostly it will install by automatically if not you can follow the prompts and install as well and if you don't uh, know you can also check click on the full driver test it will ensure that you have all the drivers by doing a small test of it just check it out I mean if you really want it this will give you at this point your device will be rebooting and everything yeah so once it says success waiting for your device right now but once it says success it's uh, clear that all the drivers are installed and you're pretty much ready to go so that's it guys for this video if you have any suggestions comments please leave them in the description below and if you have any questions just comment and i'll try to keep up with you see so success that's there